Hallelujah. Just simple scriptures. Job chapter 1 and the 20th verse. And Job chapter 10 and the 12th verse. Job chapter 1 and the 20th verse. Job arose, tore his robe and shaved his head. And he fell into the ground and he worshipped. One more scripture, Job chapter 10 and the 12th verse. You have granted me life and favor and your care has preserved my spirit. How many of you are thankful for God's word? A simple thought this morning. What will you do when you think that you don't have favor? Or what do you think or what do you do when you think you are out of favor? Hallelujah. How many of you here this morning, like Job, who were walking once in the favor of God, in the blessing of God, suddenly a storm arose and destroyed his family, destroyed his kids. Wife almost is planning to leave him. Friends have left him. Everybody think, God's judgment is upon your life. He himself is cursing on the day he was born. And this man is thinking, have I lost out on the favor of God? How many of you are here today thinking, whether I'm out of favor? I'm listening to the word. I'm seeing. I've seen all that God has done me in the past. But am I in the favor of God today? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What will you do when you are out of the favor? What will you do when you think that you are out of God's favor? What did Job do? The Bible says he worshipped. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How many of you here this morning, even if you the circumstances show that you're out of the favor, if you're, hallelujah, praise God, parents have told you, you're out of God's favor. If the marriage proposal and come and it's not come as yet, how many of you know if the job, how the boss has not called you for an appraisal, even if your business has not been able to be started, even if your promise is standing on promises, you have seen nothing and you are thinking, am I out of God's favor? How many of you will this morning, will like Job, will worship the living God? How many of you will say, I'm going to worship. Hallelujah. Speak the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to stop worshiping. Look at somebody and say, don't stop worshiping. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Even when people put you down, circumstances put you down, your brothers put you down, your sisters put you down. Even when you feel the church has put you down, there is somebody who will lift you up. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. He's the lifter of your head. Hallelujah. Humble yourself in the mighty hand of God. He will lift you up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible says he was not offended at God. He was not offended at people. But he worshiped God. How many of you can say, I'm not mad at God? Oh, hallelujah. I'm not mad at the people around me, but I'm going to focus to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Paul said, when you do not know what to pray, pray in the Holy Spirit. Praying in tongues is also worshiping God. Paul said, I worship in understanding, but I also worship in the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Sometimes if you are new, to this church, you will think, why are people say, because if you are only praying in the understanding, if you are only praying intellectually, what will happen is, you will not be able to see the Lord beyond another level. If you are only praying the Lord in intellectually, your brains and your mind, God can only test those things that are within the limitations of your mind. But when you pray in the Holy Spirit, God is able to take you into the next realm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are a church who has given the liberty to the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. 
Even a hot day, cold day, up or down, praise the Lord. If you allow the Spirit of God to pray through you, even as you are sitting, you will move into another level, another realm. Hallelujah. Things are, will change. Hallelujah. The problems will leave you. A bother with the world. A pressure with the world. A rock of the world. That problem, that sickness will leave you. If you put your hands together, praise the Holy Ghost. Jude chapter 1, there's only one chapter says, Pray in the Holy Spirit to build up your most holy faith. Praise the Lord. You want to move in another realm of faith? Pray in the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. With words you cannot express. Hallelujah. One who prays in tongues does not know what he's saying, but God understands it. Praise the Lord. He edifies himself. He is building a mansion of faith. That word edifies in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and the second verse says, Hallelujah. You're building a mansion. Hallelujah. How many of you here, you want supernatural answers this morning? Hallelujah. I want you to take a minute break, a praise break, a tongue speaking break. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on. If you have the gift of tongues, put your hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Let every demon leave. Every pass of hell leave. Every Jezebel spirit leave. Hey, every court leave. Hey, hey, hey. Every wolf leave. Every scatterer leave. Every opinion leave. Let God's opinion take charge. Every serpent leave. Every Levitian leave. Every pride leave. Victory by the blood of Jesus. Every defeat leave. Every blindness leave. Every poverty leave. Glory. More glory. More glory. Leave it in the mouth of the I have I have not seen. Mind is not The Holy Spirit. How many of you feel strong now? When you are praying in the Holy Spirit, you move into another realm. It's a religious spirit that tells you only pray in the understanding. That has crept into the body of Christ. That has kept into the church. Tongues is not for today. Tongues is for today. Let nobody withhold you from praying in the Holy Spirit. Rabadi Oskaro. You know why some of you are sick? Some of you are God. God has given you the gift of tongues. If you have prayed it, hallelujah, God would have stirred up a faith to receive your healing. The realm will change when you clap your hands. Job said, clap your hands and the enemy will leave. Enemy cannot stay in that realm. Hallelujah. Enemy cannot. Satravina, irrelatile patadilla. We do God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. Ribadi Adar 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 Atma Vindu Rivyabaram. You are a symbol your impartation of faith, glory, strength. Hallelujah. Ribadi Ash Kalondara Manasira. Hallelujah. The same Job who lost everything amidst his complaint. He's saying Job chapter 10 and the 12th verse. He said by his favor. Hallelujah. Put that scripture. Don't change it. Hallelujah. Job, you have granted me life and favor. 
Oh, that itself should encourage you. Hallelujah. God has given you back the life that you thought you lost. Whatever the devil has stolen, he says, I've given you abundance of life. Oh, hallelujah. And he has granted me favor. Praise the Lord. And you granted me favor. What do you do when you think that you don't have favor? Worship the law. The favor that you thought you don't have will come upon you. Yeah, 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 yeah. The favor that you thought you never had will come upon you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Job said, my redeemer liveth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. He will do things beyond your intellect. Job could see beyond what is happening around him. Only in the 42nd chapter, he see the breakthrough. But somewhere, something ignited. Some of you, something is igniting. Something, God is about to show your future. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When Moses was in the threatened by the uh, king's command the family the Moses parents hid him in in the basket to the palace they thought that he will be uh, somehow you know he will grow up there but God had a nation planned up for him praise the Lord God had a nation planned up for him you are thinking somehow I will make it through 2019 but let me tell you God had something greater planned up glory to God don't limit him this morning pray in the Holy Ghost let the palace life be released a nation is in front of you something greater is in front of you I can feel it this morning I can feel it this morning let your picture change this morning Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Because of the lack of time. Hallelujah. What happened when Job worshipped? A tenfold favor came upon him. Tenfold. I don't have time to preach it, but I'll just tell you. Number one. I'm reading from the message translation. Okay, so go home and read it. The Bible says in Job chapter 1 and third verse, He was a man of influence. Praise the Lord. Job's a tenfold favor when he worshipped. Number one, he was influenced. Look at somebody and say, you are a man or woman of influence. Amen. Hallelujah. You are going to rightfully, righteously influence people. Not in a wrong way. From this moment onwards, you are going to be a righteous influence to people. A positive influence to people. A godly influence to people. Glory to God. You are like that positive living which came into the hallelujah bread. And hallelujah gave a positive influence to the dove. Amen. Wherever you go, you are going to send a positive influence. As a matter of fact, the days are coming that your bosses are going to say, you are a positive influence in this company. I am going to look at you and say, you are a positive influence in this church. Glory to God. Number two, the Bible says in verse three, he had so much blessing. He was also very wealthy, 7,000 head of sheep, 3,500. Wow. Praise the Lord. Look at, look at the man. Look at the blessing he's carrying. Yet we only read, we never experience. But when you start worshipping, I'm not joking. Get up in the morning and start worshipping. I'm not joking. This will be your testimony. Hallelujah. You give the place due to the Lord. You give your best and first to the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The camels that you have never seen, the donkeys that you have never seen, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Will come after you. Glory to God. Come on. Come on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pastor, my husband is a donkey. He will come after you. My wife is a camel. She wants to know everything. She will come after you. Glory to God. She will take care of you. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Pastor, you are only not using few people, not using me. I will come after you if you are a worshipper. Praise the Lord. Nobody can hide a worshipper in the church. God will raise you up and use you for His name and for His glory. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Number three, Job 1.5 says, He prayed for the children to have an inward devotion that they will not defy the Lord inwardly. That's what he prayed. Hallelujah. Which means he had an inward devotion to God. Hallelujah. The third fold of favor is when God's favor comes, nobody has to tell you your inward devotion. You don't come here and take the mobile phone and talk. You have an inward devotion. You'll come to church. Praise the Lord. On time to worship. Inward. Nobody has to teach you. It's a favor's work. When you know you're favored, you come here. Glory to God. You don't miss. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sundays, if possible. If possible, it's today's church. The way that I've grown, I have breath in my body. I will not miss a Sunday. Praise the Lord. Today we have to add, if possible. Glory to God. I'm not being perfect, but I'm saying that should, that should your stand be. Hallelujah. Inward devotion means he had an unpenetrable, impenetrable prayer life. Devil could not penetrate it till God allowed it. Look at man's devotion. How many of you want a prayer life like that? Praise the Lord. Till that God allowed it, the devil could not penetrate his prayer life. Oh, I receive that. I pray for that over the church. An unpenetrable, impenetrable prayer life. Hallelujah. Over your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Look at Jesus and say, God, my prayer life, Lord. Hallelujah. Number four, the Bible says he was honest and true to his words. He had a character. God's favor brought him through character. He was honest and true. Praise the Lord. So many of us, our resume is different from what you see in the church. There are so many people I was praying to remove the mask. The first shall be the last and the last shall be the first. Let me tell you why. The first had the mask. The last did not have the mask. He came as he is. So God said, come out. Come forward. Remove your mask. Look at two people smiling and said, remove your mask. Hallelujah. You think it's beautiful, it's ugly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will be honest and true. God will straighten you up. Father Abraham, I told on Friday, he was a man who lied, who, who, who gave his wife to another man. I mean, what a man. And he became the father of faith when the favor of God came upon his life. God straight in the mouth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. How many of you here? Let me tell you this morning. You would have lied. You would have cheated. You would have done things that are ashamed to say out. You are carrying the guilt. You are carrying the condemnation. But if you submit yourself under the favor of God, He will straighten you out. He will make you honest. He will make you Israel. He will make you a prince with God. He will make you a Joseph of Arimathea, a man without guile and Nathaniel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Number five. In verse nine, he had devil's testimony. We think about God's testimony. Look at devil's testimony. In message translation, devil went and told the Lord, I can't win against him. He can't lose. Job can't lose. Isn't it amazing? How many of you believe that? Chaco can't lose. You can fight with me. I will not lose. Praise the Lord. Devil can fight with me. Powers, principalities, authorities, dominions. Hallelujah. Impatience. Whatever. I will not lose. Such is the blessing. Such is the favor. Hallelujah. I can fall, but I will not lose. Hallelujah. I will get up and declare the words of God. I might fail, but God in me will not make me lose. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and say, I will not lose. I'm going through a tough time, brother. Say somebody, I'm going through a tough time. 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 Hallelujah. 
in other words the devil don't have a chance with you hallelujah number 6 his mouth was consecrated in all this trials the bible says eat not sin with his mouth out some of your mouth put hold your mouth and say this mouth will be a well of life if god's favor come upon your lips let me tell you there is nothing hard or difficult can ever withstand you if you say to the mountain come on come on come on mulberry tree with all the roots if you say to this mulberry tree a fruit with its roots there are some generational roots speak it out the lord is releasing out some generational curses inconsistencies hallelujah some generational evil that is wo- working over time against you god is uprooting it this morning come on somebody say to that mountain say to that mulberry tree that mulberry tree is called the weeping tree say to that weeping tree you cannot make me weep again hallelujah glory to god Number seven, he was a man of integrity. I don't have time to preach. A precious integrity. He took the stand. The wife said, "Curse God and die. You serve the Lord. This is what you get." He was so innocent. Oh wow! I wrote it here. If you want to title one word over Job's book, it will be like this: "Worshippers' complaints deserves favor." a worshipper can complain god's favor will come upon him hallelujah amen aaradhikkunna venanengi neechara complain parnu devathinte prasadam verum praise the lord there is a sweetness to your complaint when you worship hallelujah job complained but he was innocent even in his complaint wow he did not let go of his integrity wow 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 glory to god he said wife i love you but i won't deny god i don't so love you praise the lord i love you dipti tell every sunday i love you all the days i said i love you you are the best but on sunday don't come when i'm praying please exit the room <laughs> i don't love you that much My daughter comes with the greatest and the sweetest of smile when I pray. It will melt my heart and I said should I go to this Sunday? Should I go and see lion faces or sit at home and see my daughter's loving face? Praise God. At least you should give me a smile. I'm coming and leaving that and coming and looking at you. Don't be so strict on me. hallelujah it calls precious integrity hallelujah he did not trade his integrity amidst trials wow avan avante integrity nashtapaduthilla vittilla nu malayalathe vittilla how many of you here when you go through trials and troubles you will trade like judas for 30 pieces of silver will quit on the lord but he did not do it how many of you will put a mark where right where you are sitting and said i'm going to put a decision whatever happens in my life i will not quit on jesus i will not quit on his word come on somebody hallelujah come on come on say that say that say that say that say that hallelujah victory by the blood of jesus now a couple more important things and i'm out of your way a worshipper who fed on god's love and did not feed on his dog what does that mean pastor just imagine there are two areas into your life one is the master and one is the dog master is the love part of you dog is the lust part of you when you go through a trouble feed the love part of you every person every man here sitting has a lust part of it If anybody is more holier than if you want to lay your hands I want to come and ask you to pray over me <laughs> Every man 
every man every woman there is a lust part of our lives the lust part is the dog part you don't feed the dog you feed the master the love how through worship when you don't think that you have favor hallelujah when you are hallelujah lust not only to impurity but lust for money lust for hallelujah material things lust lust for somebody else's job lust for somebody covetousness all these things hallelujah how do you overcome it never feed it feed on god's love through your worship look to jesus hallelujah glory to god don't feed it through pornography Now there are people in this city will say pastor I'm not sleeping around but I have my private space I will watch pornography I have a little you know nice time yeah after all you know I I'm not cheating that's feeding your dog look at somebody and say don't feed your dog feed the master <laughs> come on somebody hallelujah ninda jadate hale mohipikirada hallelujah deva snehate mohipikana amen oh praise the lord praise the lord no praise the lord today's people will not like it because after sunday they want to recklessly live their lives that is not what god has called you for hallelujah glory to god amen blessed be the name of the lord feed your master there is a love part where god has filled his love into your hearts through the holy spirit allow god's love to fill your heart and that heart shall be kept safe from every power of the evil guard your heart out of it comes the issues of life everything will stand still in your life if lust get into your heart don't feed it hallelujah nobody saying hallelujah if you feed the dog lust will flow in the form of compromises let me put in simple words you will start compromising you will cross your boundaries you will make your boundaries and leave god's boundaries look at somebody on their eyes and say don't make your own boundaries don't make your own boundaries don't make ah you don't like it no put your i i I'm, i'm giving you the permission hold the people on the shoulder look into to his high even if he doesn't like it if he's in the church if she's in the church hold on to him and says don't make your own boundaries praise god you are the clay not the potter you have no right you are bought with the precious blood of jesus you are not your own you have no right to make your own boundaries god breaks the boundaries Oh rabala bala sandaradia come on somebody this morning every pass of sin be broken from your life through the grace and the favor hallelujah how you relate with the man of god don't make your boundaries there are things you can't say to a man of god I like pastor what he said he is in Jerusalem and he said a clip I said like that he said God took Moses to the Mount Nebo and he corrected him there if God wants to correct a man of God he never corrects in front of a congregation he takes him to the mountain in prayer and he corrects him there you need to know what you are dealing with don't come hallelujah have some kind of regard for God's servants of God You don't put your boundary. You can't say things. Hallelujah. Are you with me church? Number 9, he had the favor to intercede for his family, friends and foes. Praise the Lord. Family, Elihu the friend and the foes, the enemies who said damn you are damned some people some people's desire against you is that you are damned i know it sometime i also feel like saying the same word to them and then the first scripture i learned will come into my heart the steadfast love of the lord never ceases his mercies they never come to an end the scripture will come like Peter and John asking the disciples asking Jesus can shall I put fire into this people and God said what a manner of spirit God son of man has not come to destroy but to give safe and save and save the lost seek and save the lost pray for our f- enemies the love your enemies Jesus said pray for your enemies hallelujah glory to God amen 
I am telling you very bluntly, if you think that your enemy is your mother-in-law, pray for her. If you think that your devil is the enemy, but in practical terms, if you think your mother-in-law is the enemy, I told somebody from the word of God, I said, Ruth bought a great gift to your mother-in-law and the mother-in-law was the greatest mother-in-law. Somebody just obeyed me at my word and that mother-in-law became the greatest mother-in-law. All the people who doesn't marry will say, Amen, Amen, Amen. All the rest. May God bless you. May God have great mother-in-laws. I am telling you prophetically, whoever you think is the hardest, buy a gift this week. And I'm praying over that gift. That gift will make room for you in that person's life. Oh, come on somebody this morning. Come on, come on. The best gift that... Come. Hallelujah. These are tested and tried things. Number 10. He had the favor to receive the double. The save the dist- He had the favor to get the double. Now the speciality, Bible says Jesus grew in the favor of God. Some people are not growing in favor. You have a slight favor, but you're not growing. Jesus grew in the favor. Two reasons in Job's from Job's life, you can say. One is Job repented. Everybody said repentance. Pastor just told you what repentance is. Taking your eyes from yourself and looking to Jesus. He repented. He torn his clothes. He said, it's not I. It's not. Let you increase. I decrease. It was all about me, my problems. How many of you will say? Look at somebody and say, repent. Praise the Lord. Say, repent. Repent. Re. Repent. Penthouse comes from the word re again. Pent, penthouse. Again, God taking you to the top of your purpose. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. How many of you will repent and get on to the top of God's purpose? I declare this morning, your family will be on the top of God's purpose. Your children will be on the gods of God's purpose. This church will be on the top of God's purpose. If you believe that, put your hands together. Give a clap offering to Jesus. And number two, I finish with this. You can go and have your food. How you grow in your favor, you should have a smile. Everybody say smile. Smile. Job 10, 20. Job is asking the Lord after he's asked for favor. Can I smile again? How many of you here this morning looking at your situation? Can I ever smile again? You can. You can. If you allow the favor of God to fall you, you can smile again. Then you Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at your problem by faith and smile. Hannah, the word means grace. Favor means I smile at my enemies. Grace always smile at the enemies. Come on. Hallelujah. Stotram, stotram, stotram. Glory to God. Did Jesus smile? Bible says in Luke chapter 10, Jesus rejoiced in the spirit for two reasons. Number one, he said, Hey disciples, your names are written in the book of life. How many of you have come here are sure that you're going to heaven, that your names are written in the book of life? If so, rejoice. Bible says salvation is there in no other name in heaven on earth which man can can be saved except in the name of Jesus. Jesus has not come to reinstate another religion, Christian religion. He has come to transform life. You give your life to Jesus. You will know in the seat that you are sitting that if you die today, you will go. Your eternity will be with Jesus Christ. And there is a real life there in heaven. More real than you think that is on earth. Hallelujah. And the only way, hallelujah, if you want that joy, you have to give your your life and your heart to Jesus and to the Lordship of Jesus and say Lord I give my life to you I repent from this day onwards you are the driver of my life you will take me forward if you say that you are saved you are delivered you are eternally conquered in the hands of God number two Jesus said he smiled he rejoiced and said these things are not he says he rejoiced in the spirit and he said this these things are not revealed to to anyone but to babes. Can you read that please? And I'll finish. Luke chapter 10 verse 20. You have hidden these things. Please. 
21 in, in that hour jesus rejoiced in the spirit and said i praise you father lord of heaven and earth that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and reveal them to babes even so father for it seemed so good in your sight hallelujah you know why he rejoiced let me tell you let me tell you something listen to me whatever i have told you and what pastor told you this morning write it on your book you will never understand it it will never be appropriated in your life till you come like a little child that's it Jesus is on this level. If you try to teach Jesus, you will never learn from him. You will stay there. If you try to teach Jesus, you will stay there. You will stay there. Jesus is in the level of a child. He only gives you a deliverance in the level of a child. He only reveals breakthroughs in the level of a child. Oh, Rabba Laba Rasad. You can hear on Mimshak, Rayon, Ratson. It will be in your book till you come. Lord, I humble myself like an attitude. I don't know anything, Lord. You know everything. How many of you will say, I don't know, hallelujah, anything. You know everything, Lord. Hallelujah. If you believe that, hallelujah, lift your hands and hallelujah, close your eyes for a minute. Hallelujah. May God's favor fill your life. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Pray the Holy Spirit for some time. Come in the level of a child. Hallelujah. Victory by the blood of Jesus. Victory by the blood of Jesus. 